Hello and happy Thursday. As you can tell, we're strapped to the gills with bags. So that means one thing, we're traveling and you can hear the airport, it's under construction. Show it. So we are here. Oh, this is all the brand new stuff. They, just, yeah. they literally just opened this like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, this wasn't even like this when we came in December. Uh -uh, and this was closed, so it was all walled off. Yeah, wow. That. That's crazy. Yeah, so uh, tell us where are we going today, Kayla? We are going to London. Yay! <laughs> we're going on an overnight flight to London. Our plane didn't take off for a couple hours, but we're here early so we can get settled and get something to eat before we get, get on the plane. So we're going to go check our bags. Let's go. I'm excited. We'll see. <laughs> Made it through security and now we're ready to eat and drink. Cheers. All right, got us some dinner, our last American meal. <laughs> Hello. That'd be a hot. It is a giant. It's a like half a lime in there. Yeah. Made our way down to the bar now for another drink. So I'm over an hour until yeah. our flight takes off. So yeah. lots of drink. Drinking time. Yeah. Gotta get the anxiety away. We're walking down to the gate and I saw a celebrity out of the corner of my eye. Freaking BB Rexa is sitting at the gate. We're <laughs> creeping on her right now. But I had seen her earlier and I thought it was just a girl that looked like her. Yeah. And then I walked by again and she looked at me and oh, smiled. There right there. Oh, there she is. Yep. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's her. That's her right there. Old BB Rexa. <laughs> it's just crazy. She's just, she's just a human like us. I know. Group 7, that's us. Make your way down to B11. We're boarding, come on. We're boarding. We're boarding the plane. We're boarding. What are you feeling? It's literally everything I've ever dreamed of. Why? Because it's a big old plane? Yeah, it's just amazing. I have no words. No. Everyone has accents. No, we, most it. people on the plane have accents. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tickled. Tickled pink. We're also hoping nobody sits next to us so uh, we can have a full row to ourselves. And we saw BB Rexa today. Yeah, we saw BB Rexa. At the airport. No big deal. NBD. NBD. <laughs> Why? I'm just so happy. No way. I'm moving my hair down for the <laughs> I'm just so happy to what? be here, to be going here. We're not there yet. We just got on the plane. I'm just, I'm happy. I heard the accents. The whole crew. I heard the the accents. whole crew is British. And I felt it. Tears streaming. We're going. We're going. We're going. Finally. 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 Thanks for coming, crew of uh, nine today, then led by uh, in flight manager Ian uh, Roberts. And uh, first, thank you all for getting on the board the airplane nice and properly, nice and quickly. Um, uh, we were a few minutes late. Um, that's due to the inbound arrival. And uh, I'm pleased to say the crew here on the ground at uh, Nashville have done a fantastic job of turning this around very quickly. Just waiting for the last cargo door to shut, and then we'll be on our way to uh, London. Once we push back to the stand, a couple of points of safety, the cabin crew will be taking you through a uh, safety demonstration. It's the most important video you'll see today, and it does only last for a few minutes. I know lots of you have probably seen many videos before, but uh, remember it's not just for your benefit, it's also those people sat around you, so please, for those few minutes it takes, do give it your full attention. You getting snuggled in?
already dinner time. We're only like one, one hour in. Yeah. They're already trying to feed us. I guess we're not getting breakfast on the plane. No. All right, we got the pasta. How do they say it? Chicken or pasta. Pasta. So we're gonna open it. It snaps in. There's my pasta. With something else, so I'm not really sure. Getting on the tube. Let's hurry, let's get on this train. I'm trying to catch this train. I'm out of breath from no. carrying the bags everywhere. Yeah. About to drop these bad boys off and head down to the London Eye. All right, let's get on the lift. You got it? Yeah. There's American on the side. All right, we finally got rid of those bags. Now we're just walking in the street of London. I feel like I'm like in a dream or something. I know, it doesn't feel real. But we're headed to the London Eye. Nice little church right down the street from our flat. Trying not to get hit by any cars while we're crossing. Wow. Wow, getting our first real like view of the city right now. Yeah. Walking we across this bridge. Now. Yeah. Whoa. rainy out there there's the London Eye that's where we're about to go get in I'm very scared <laughs> we're about to go up in this thing that's the bridge we just walked across from over on that side and then we come around the corner wow. and there's Big Ben in Parliament, right next to the London Eye. This is nuts, isn't it? I mean, I feel like this is like a painting. I know. Like... Hopefully, the, I think the rain is going to stop in a little while. It kind of adds to the ambiance. Yeah. Wow. That's what we're about to get on. Made our way down here to the dock, waiting in line for, or on queue. For our, for our boat tour. The line for the uh, London Eye is too long, so our boat tour comes first. So we're just standing here with views of Big Ben and the House of Parliament over there and the River Thames. Yay! I wish we were getting on the pub on the Thames oh, over there. Yeah. yeah, pub on the Thames. How do we get on that boat? Can you just go over there? Yeah. Or, is it, or does it actually go? Oh, that's a good question. You I don't know. Just, like, go you might be able to get on it, yeah. We're gonna, we might have to check that one out. We'll let you know. 
We're bored as a boat. We got our spots. Now we gotta wait for everybody else. Look at that beef. I don't know. Got Big Ben and House of Parliament. Very soon we will be at the top of that. So join by my colleague Matt. We can answer any questions you might have for your uncomfort or curiosity to make this the best sport for you as possible. Now, uh, those of you joining us on the top deck, well done. It was absolutely grim earlier. You picked a really good time for it. Have a look behind you. You'll see in the wheelhouse we've got Captain George. Give him a wave. Hello, Captain George. Now, Captain George needs to see where we're going. These are not ideal sailing conditions because of the weather. So if you could all do us a favour on the top deck and remain seated as much as possible, that way we will avoid any Titanic scenario. <laughs> so please do us a favour, we cannot avoid any Celine Dion whatsoever. Uh, now, if the uh, weather upstairs gets a bit too frightful for you, uh, you can always head downstairs, that's where you'll find some warm seating, you'll also find the toilet, you'll also find the bar. So remember, upstairs for views, downstairs for booths. But, have a look on your right, you will see our first proper landmark of the tour, and it is a banger. This is, of course, New Westminster Palace. Now, this used to be a royal household. There was a building here nearly a thousand years ago. That was the royal household from, from the times of King Canute, a Saxon king, fullness prison cell. Uh, if you uh, uh, seem to be up to no good in the realm of Westminster, you can keep there overnight, and then a boat will pick you up the next morning and take you over to Tower, uh, to the Tower of London, which will houses of Parliament, uh, designed by Charles Barry and his apprentice, Augustine Fusion. This building built uh, in 1858 with its three towers we can see the victoria tower the central tower and of course coming up can we all see big ben can we all see big ben guys Ooh. no big ben is the name of the 13 and a half ton bell inside the clock tower ah. this is known as the elizabeth clock tower we changed the name in 2012 for the queen's birthday seems a bit of a rush job to me a bit like picking up some flowers from a gas station on the way home but Big Ben is named after Sir Benjamin Hall. Through a monastery that used to stand on the north bank of the river here, where the monks would wear black robes with, uh, white robes even, with black mantles. So there we go, take that Barcelona and Gaudi. We've got St Paul's and Christopher Wren. Uh, some amazing historical events have happened in St Paul's. This was where part of the funeral for Queen Elizabeth II was held. Uh, the funerals for Margaret Thatcher, Winston Churchill, they're all held there. That's and the Millennium Bridge. Pretty much unscathed. Some amazing photos of the Dome of St Paul's right around. We'll see a white building with wooden timber frames and a thatched roof. This is the recreation of the Globe Theatre. The original Globe Theatre burnt down during the production of King Henry VIII in 1613. Although sometimes crime does pay if you're made with the aristocracy. Now looming over us on our right, this masterpiece of steel and glass is Renzo Piano's The Shard. Yeah, now this shard. is the tallest building in Western Europe. MS Belfast, an amazing example of a World War II light battle cruiser, 11,500 tons. Now this ship uh, sank the Shard Horse, Adolf Hitler's favourite battleship. So there we go, Hitler didn't deserve nice things. Those guns and cannons, they can still fire, they are active, they have a range of 12 miles and they are currently aimed at the M1 services at Scratchwood. No one knows why. If I did enjoy the Lasagna, I'd simply leave the bad review, I wouldn't have a gunship that. The weather on the top deck for it is of course the jewel in the crown of the Thames, the most exciting thing you'll see today. On our right, the front is for the Mayor and former headquarters of the Greater London Council. Right guys, that's what we're hyped for, yeah? the middle section a wave see if we can get a wave back and already some lovely waves back now according to old sailing legend if you get away from the people on tower bridge that is five years good luck for everyone on the vessel so there we go we've all got five years good luck all the way over to the other just on the tops of the boats waiting tower to come bridge. through and uh, the wharf starboards now here we go on our left we're parallel to tower bridge 
Old City Avenue, all in one photo. We've even got some double-decker buses on the bridge for you. There we go. This is Biscuit Tin level kitsch. <laughs> Now the middle section, the Basfria had this painted brown. That was because her favourite food was chocolate. However, in the 1970s we realised we can't go. The Tower of London. Now the Tower of London, the middle section there, the White Tower, they started constructing that in 1066 after William the Conqueror came and he conquered. Fair dude, did what you said on the tip. Now, uh, this today is where you can go and have a visit. You can see the crown jewels there, when Charlie is talking about wearing them, of course. You can also get a tour from the Yeoman Warders, the famous beef beaters from the... Now, on our right, very excitedly, you will see what looks like an ancient Egyptian obelisk. And very excitedly indeed, that is an ancient Egyptian obelisk. This is Cleopatra Needle, even though it was built under the reign of King Tutmosis III. Now, even more exciting than that, this is the oldest thing in London, three and a half thousand years old. But more exciting than that, this is older than London itself. But more exciting. Yeah. All right, we're in line for the eye. We're about to get on. Yeah, I'm very nervous, but no turning back now. No turning back now. That's kind of freaky getting on. Yeah, it was kind of freaky getting on. See when it sit? Oh, man. on the top. things off on day one. Yeah, that's good. I like it. There we are, 41489 in the London Eye. 
Squeaky man. This turned out into a beautiful afternoon. Hasn't it? Now we're gonna walk back to the tube station and head back to head to our flat so we can get freshened up for St. Patty's Day fun tonight. We're gonna hit up the Gloucester pub. Yeah, I'm ready to brush my teeth. <laughs> flat here in London. Oh look, right as a double decker is oh, going wow. by. We're up here on the second story, although they call it the first floor. And there's the pub we're going to go to tonight, right across the street. That's dangerous. Oh no, I didn't realize it was this Literally, close. yeah, right across the street. And you know, an Indian restaurant? Yeah, these kids are drinking beer here. They look like they're 12. Okay, they can probably hear you too though, because the windows Yeah, they probably open. can't because they got the windows open. <laughs> oh, well, we're in our flat. We're just going to get settled and get ready for some some Saint fun, Day. some St. Patrick's Day fun tonight. Yep. So you got the living room, you got the dining room, you got the kitchen, there's a bathroom right there, and a little bedroom. Pretty much all you need. All right, we're gonna jaywalk across. No one's gonna get us in trouble. Come on. Probably not supposed to, but oh well, we did it. Going to the pub. The pub was packed, so we came to an Indian restaurant right down the street. Got a cute little table right in the window. Got us a couple of kingfishers. Monte. Yeah. First up, vegetable samosa. Yes, they did. All right, all of our foods here. We got naan. Uh, that's some sort of oh yeah, some sort of spicy curry, chicken tikka masala, and some mushroom rice. That'd be good. Finally made it to the pub. Got us a couple of pints. Finally in the pub. Yeah. We finished our nightcap at the Gloucester Arms. Yeah, the pub down the right, right, right across the street. But uh, we're exhausted, so we came back home. And nobody was really like being all St. Patrick's Day-ish. So uh, we didn't want to stay out. So we come back to the flat. We're going to get ready for bed and call it a night. We're pretty exhausted. We didn't sleep in a bed, obviously. Last time we slept on a plane and had, did quite a lot today. So tomorrow is going to be another fun day. So we'll see you tomorrow.